How's it going to my survivors out there? You know me as Stritty? Of course you know me as Stritty. <laughs> Come on, who am I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I just did that intro. Maybe we should start over. No, we're not going to start over. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Let's Play Don't Starve. Now this is an indie survival adventure game. Not quite sure what the actual genre is, or what it's called, or whatever, but I don't know much about this game, but I've actually... This is the second time I'm recording. The first time, I don't know, webcam. <laughs> it was lagging. Like, you... <laughs> it, like, skipped frames. I mean, it went to the next frame every five seconds. It was terrible. And then there's, like, no audio, and I don't know what happened, so we're gonna play this again. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new world. <laughs> and we're going to see how it does. This is the gentleman scientist. I will conquer it all with the power of my mind. And he grows a magnificent beard. So this should be fun. Now these other characters are locked because you have to survive a certain number of days to unlock them. Right now we're going to play as Wilson. So let's do this. Let's do this. Ah. Second time recording. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter because there's a, no, I don't think there's a story to this except for just survive. Ready to play? How long will you survive? Say, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before night comes. I don't imagine that's how his voice would sound. I don't even know why I did that voice. But here we are. You gotta collect berries. So you can eat, so you don't starve. Because over here, at the top right, is the how much time I have. Hey, turkey. <laughs> anyway, apparently when you pick berries off of a bush, a turkey just jumps out at you. Whatever. Anyway, top right corner, you get the you get the time of the day. He doesn't really give you numbers and all that. It just has a little hand. And here's your health meter, which is the heart, obviously, and then the stomach is your hunger, which is why you gotta gather supplies, and you got to get stuff to eat. Anything you kill, you can cook and eat. Anything like seeds, berries, all the stuff you can eat. You can't eat everything. Like, you can't eat rocks and stuff. But you get my point. And we have all these tools here that we need to craft in order to survive. So right now I'm gonna get an axe, which I just need to get a stick, which I get a stick from these saplings. Whew, talking a lot. Then we create this axe, which we can then use to chop down trees. Of... just trees. The smaller the tree, the less wood you get. The bigger the tree, the more chops it takes. But you get a lot more wood. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Turkey just eat those berries right off the bush? Maybe I want some berries. You never bothered to ask me. Oh well. I have not been able to kill a turkey yet. Or anything for that matter. It's a lot difficult than it seems because they run away and most of the time they're faster than you. So you gotta set traps, which you which we can actually do. We can set a trap well for for small animals like like those rabbits right there. But enough about that, let's talk about the game. Let's, we already were talking about the game, but the style, I like, I've never played a game like this. It looks, it's all, it looks like it's all just hand drawn and it's, I don't know, it looks really cool. It looks really cool. Now boulders we're going to need too because we can, we need to build campfires. Hey, in order to, okay, well here's the deal. When it gets dark, it is dark, like, pitch black you can't see a thing it's it's so dark seriously you can't see anything it's like standing in a dark room no lights no windows that's how it is see gaff you gaff you have to build a fire no matter what man you just you have to it's actually like mandatory anyway I'm gonna get some flint which is just looks like rocks laying on the ground to uh, build a pickaxe so then we can mine some rocks 
No, get those berries first. You take your turn. What? I don't think that made sense. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's Flint. Excellent. I just turned caps lock on and turned it off. Alright. Big axe. Now let's go back to those rocks. So we can get this stuff. I gotta get ready to build a fire. I'm trying to build a fire pick. It's more efficient. It's like you're setting up camp. I'm not for sure if I'm gonna set up camp yet. You never know. Alright. Let's mine this baby. <gasps> gold! Oh, I never got gold out of a small rock like that. I've never gotten gold out of a little rock like this. Usually, they're big boulders and stuff. Look, they're a lot bigger. I've never... <gasps> Woo! I'm just getting gold, like, easy. It's just weird. I, I don't get gold that easily. <laughs> you usually have to scavenge around a lot for it, but... Lucky day, I guess. I guess it's a good time. This is my second time recording. A good time. I say good time. Uh, then I mean good time. <laughs> so excited I can't even speak clearly. Look at this spider egg. <laughs> I'm just going to take your berries and I'll be on my way. Thank you very much. So here's the map. All the black areas what we haven't discovered yet, which is kind of obvious. And... Uh, it's about to be afternoon, which it gets kind of dark, but you can still see pretty. You can still see pretty good. So this, I haven't updated this yet. So normally, you would have, you would also have a sanity bar or circle, and you would have to pick flowers for your sanity to go back up. But I haven't updated the game yet, so I don't have that feature yet. Oh well. God, I still need rocks, but I can't find any rocks so I can make a fire pit. I haven't had a fire pit yet because I know I, I just never really focused on getting a fire pit. I just wanted to have enough materials so I could get a campfire. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I guess we can just find somewhere to set up camp at. Which, it doesn't really matter where. We're just going to just zoo right here. Right next to the edge. Alright, and then we're gonna get wood and fuel the fire, make it nice and bright, nice and cozy. There we go. Fire's getting out of hand. I couldn't agree more. Hey, bird. Dang it! I was gonna try to attack that bird. Oh well. And the night approaches us. There's really nothing to do at night time, so I'm just gonna skip ahead until it's daytime. So I'll see you there. All right, welcome back to daylight. So yeah, we survived the night successfully. It is now day two. Round of applause, survivors. That actually, uh, it wasn't even that hard to survive because we haven't really encountered any monsters yet. The last episode or the last recording that I that that just failed on me. I got attacked by some spiders, <laughs> so that's pretty exciting. But if only I could get attacked by spiders in this episode. Or video, whatever. But anyway, it's daytime, and I'm thinking my current objective right now is to make a backpack, so that way I can have more spit, more room to carry stuff. Which I need, uh, sticks and grass. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Sticks and grass, you can make a backpack. <laughs> you don't even need to go to Walmart anymore. Just put together some sticks and grass. That'll hold your textbooks. Fifty pounds all together. No problem. I like the waves too. It's like there's a... It's like there's people down there. Like the waves are on the sticks. And they're just moving them up and down, you know. That's what it reminds me of. Like if it's a play or something. I, I really like the style of this game. It's really cool. Okay. Two more pieces of grass and I'll be good to go. With a backpack. Lovely backpack. Yeah. You can craft it, and then it's... Oh, look at that. I got a little, cute little backpack. Ah. So, yeah. Okay. Now, I want to make the science machine. Oh, okay. All I need is wood. <laughs> I can do that right now. If I would have known that, I would have gotten wood over, like, over the night. Wow, day goes by really fast, doesn't it? And... I can make a science machine. 
Alright, let's head back to base. Let's do this. Where's 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 camp at? Camp's up here. Ah, there we go. Cool. Okay, let's I guess we're gonna start camp here. Uh, let's put it right there. Ha <laughs> ha Whoa. A log suit? Whoa! <laughs> a spear? A sleep dart? Wow, I... I've never made a science machine before and this is awesome. A chest? A bee box? Or bees? I guess honey, yeah. A pig house? And a bird cage? I need gold for a bird cage? This is just some greedy... Gr some greedy birds, man. Refine? Oh, this is awesome. Magic? Magic! I have magic in this game. Dress? Oh yeah, I gotta make I gotta make myself a pimp hat. We got pimp hats in here? I don't think we do. Oh wow, this just got exciting. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Okay. Now, now what? <laughs> now what do I do? I don't really know what I can make now. Uh, oh, a tent? Huh. Alright, well. Well, uh, let's just, let's get a lot more wood, because I don't have any more. Get ready for the night again. Gotta make myself a fire. Hey, there we go. I have enough gold to make another science machine in case I want to move location. I don't know if this is the best location because there's not many rocks around, which is pretty much what I... What I, I would like to have some rocks. Who doesn't like rocks, you know? Brings joy to me, how about you? <sighs> I think this game's pretty fun. Pretty entertaining. And to me. I... It's cool, this... Uh my axe. Right now, I just gotta get one stick. Okay, there we go. I think you can just you can just make an axe anywhere. <laughs> All he needs is a stick and some rocks, and he can make an amazing axe. I don't even know how he does it. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get some pine cones. So we can plant trees around our base. A little campsite so we don't have to wander out into the night just to get them. It's getting late. I need to make a fire. Right you are, Wilson. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to have to go with just a regular campfire. Again. Because... I can't find any more rocks, so that means... Just gotta keep going with the basic fire. I think after this, I think after the night is passed, I will s end the episode here. Not, not right now. When the night has passed and it's day three, and then we will continue on at day three. Okay, now I can make. Oh, I can make a torch. I can't make a fire yet. There we go. Uh, let's head back to base before it gets dark. And then can survive the night. Simple as that. Here's my science machine. Looks like a. I don't know what it looks like. Boom! Fuel this bad boy. There you go. All right, night time. Nothing much to do here but just sit and think about what my next move is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward right now. All right. It's now daylight, and as you can see, while I was fast forwarding, that I changed the, uh, uh, what's it called? I changed the landscape. That's what it is. Just by digging all the grass up. So, ooh, sapling. What's with all these crows? Get away. Alright. So, yeah, I guess we're going to continue this in episode two, part two, day three. So, anyway. Thanks for watching. 
like and favorite if you enjoyed leave a comment below telling me well let's leave a comment telling me if you want me to just continue this if you guys enjoyed and I will be glad to continue this I love playing this game I'll keep playing this game even if I don't make videos of it I don't even care I like this game I suggest you guys get it you can get it on Steam uh, I forgot the price but it shouldn't be that expensive go ahead and check it out for yourself it's really fun uh, if there's anything that I need to do, leave a comment below telling me, and I'll be sure to do it in the next episode. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.